Hey guys, Lynn Burke here, owner of Blues City Music in Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're at my storefront, American Recording Studio. We've been here since 1967. It was one of the four studios in the Memphis area uh, in the heyday of Stax and R&B that was built as a studio. Uh, the purpose of this video today is to discuss the back line that I've put in this studio. I've got around 20 amps from 1964 all the way up to 2015 model amps. And this is primarily for customers uh, that want to buy amps from me, as well as clients in the studio, as well as engineer uh, and producers coming in and using my gear uh, for tracking when I'm not here. So I can, this way they can refer to this video and know what options we have for them. So basically, um, what we're going to talk about is the general back line. I've got amps from 1964 all the way up to 2015. Um, I am uh, the largest dealer in the world for Soldano custom amplification. I am part owner as well as uh, a large dealer for diamond amplification. I'm also a dealer for diesel amplification in Germany, Friedman in Los Angeles, and uh, Lewis Electric up in Bergenfield, New Jersey. That's the ones I'm carrying right now. So, bottom line is, let's talk about what we can uh, provide for you in the studio. Okay, if you guys are of the vintage feel, you want to go vintage, we'll talk about those first, okay? I've got an original 1964 Fender Baseman AA864 circuit, okay? Not the circuit that most people use. This is the 864. Um, it's a 212 piggyback with the original... Uh, there's 50, what, from uh, 1964, 50 plus years old, uh, Jensen C12N speakers, okay? So uh, the glory of this amp is every tube in this amp is NOS. In fact, when Mike Soldano does a lot of my tech work, when I buy from uh, uh, companies in Seattle, and he tech this amp and he sold me an original, never been used NOS duet of Philips 6L6 GCs. So this amp is really bad to the bone for the guys looking for a killer Fender Basement. I've also got a 1979 high watt DR103. You need to think David Gilmore. Um, you need to think Jimmy Page, Pete Townsend from The Who, Bob O'Reilly. That's got DR103. That amp is really nice for what it does, especially for a big, clean driven kind of like a four input Marshall uh, where you're getting the gain from turning the amp up coming out of the output side. That's a great pedal amp too. So guys that want to put an overdrive in front of it, some modulation in there, you want a really nice clean um, with some nice uh, tube saturation, you want to go with a high watt. Now it runs hot and it's loud, but it is a fantastic amp for that. I've also got one of the very first issued 1979 Marshall JCM 800, vertical input, not a horizontal input, but a vertical. Uh, those particular amps, they were chassis mounted components. They're, this amp does not have a diode clip on the overdrive channel. It's too, it, tube driven, okay? And this JCM 800 is matched with a Celestian G1275 vintage cabinet, okay? And it's, so it's a really good matched rig. And, and the high watt also has a matching cabinet as well with uh, Celestian TF1225 Pro Audio speakers, and you're really going to like that. Uh, finally, I uh, just got it fixed this week, got it repaired, serviced. I've got an original 94 matchless DC30 212 Class A combo. That particular amp is going to have two sides. They're not uh, switchable, but those particular uh, channels, the left side is going to be more of a 12AX7 Marshall Plexi 18 watt style amp and the glory of the amp is going to be the Vox AC15 AC30 tone that this amp has. It's got a true half power switch uh, running four EL84s. So if you want that British EL84 amp, the Vox is the way to go. Um, I've had some really cool components added to this amp. It does have the master volume, which is the top boost that you hear about on a Vox. Uh, basically, is a second gain stage where it uses the master volume. Uh, it's got an Allen Bradley 
uh, volume on the Vox side, which is a US made switch. And it's also got uh, Newark Electronics Gray Hill Series 19 tone switch with all the, the, all the replaced caps to the parameters they should be. So you can't go wrong in a studio with the matchless DC-30. And this is a 94, this is a Mark Sampson amp, nothing like made today. So that is gonna be for guitars. Now as far as uh, bass guys, don't worry about that guys, we've got everything you need here in the studio. But Duck Dunn was our godfather and his favorite amp for recording was an Ampeg B-15. I don't even play bass, okay? But I did buy a 1972 Ampeg B-15N flip top Portaflex with a matching Altec Lansing 15 inch uh, speaker. And Soldano also worked on that for me too. And it is fantastic for um, guys looking for a, a, a bass rig. And if you're coming in with something a little hotter, we also do have one of Duck's uh, Ampeg SVTs here. Um, uh, if you write, you know, you can talk with Brad about that and he'll make it available for it. It is a museum piece, but we do have that here at American Recording Studio. So those are going to be some of the vintage pieces we have uh, that I keep up here. Um, so let's talk about some of the other amps we've got in here. Lewis Electric, let's talk about that. Uh, we've got a 1958 Tweed Twin Master. And it's based upon Danny Gatton specs. Danny Gatton was probably one of the best Telecaster guys that's... Uh, ever played the guitar. Unfortunately, we lost him a number of years ago. And uh, he's gone, but his legacy still lives. And this is a phenomenal twin. Um, best thing about it is it's got Alnico Weber classic speakers on there. So if you ever plugged into a silver face twin and, and it was like way too bright, this amp here, you're, you find yourself adding mid and cutting bass. It's a fantastic tweed style uh, amp, okay? Uh, we've also got the 212 Blues Breaker. Now, no one on the planet can sell the full 212 Blues Breaker but me at Lewis, uh, for Lewis Electric at Blues City Music. It's an exclusive. Yeah, this is built off the original 1962 bass circuit that Eric Clapton made famous uh, when he was uh, in the Blues Breakers with John Mayall. And I don't put anything but English Greenbacks G12M 20 watt, the Chinese are 25, this is a 20 watt, and a, an Alnico Gold, which is a 50 watt. And it's a great combination on that. So for guys looking for that, that early 60s Marshall feel, um, JTM 45 style amp, uh, we've got that taken care of you. Uh, then we're moving on to some of the other amp lines we care. Let's talk about uh, Soldano. Uh, earlier I said that I was the world's largest dealer for Mike and have been for 10 years. I have my own amp, which you see over my left shoulder here, is going to be the Blue City Music 44. Now that's a 112 combo that's 50 watts. And it's pure simplicity. No effects loop, single channel, but it's got two masters on it. So if someone wants to come in here and do some low volume recording, this is a perfect amp for that because it has a master volume as well as a pre-gain. You can get all the saturation and gain you want or keep it as clean as you want. It's got a fantastic spring reverb, true analog spring reverb. And it's got proprietary solid cables, speaker and reverb harnesses. So this one uh, will give you everything you want in a, a 50 watt 112 combo. Uh, we've also got a 50-watt Avenger, which is overdrive channel only, of the SLO. Now, it's got a high input and a low input. If you want to go a little bit more on the Marshall side of the house, you can do that. And that's going to be uh, more, it, it skips one of the gain stages, so it increases the clean headroom. So it's going to give you more of that early Marshall feel. It also comes with a depth option, and you can get it with or without a loop. And the one I have in here is one with a loop. So for guys looking for a little bit more raw tone than what an SLO has, uh, the Avenger on the overdrive channel would be perfect for what you want there. Uh, we've also got a Lucky 13. That was the year 13 amp that Mike made. It's essentially two amps in one. It's going to have the finest, biggest clean channel you're ever going to hear, hands down. There's no doubt about that. When we have more clean than the high watt, it's going to have more clean than any dual showman, Fender Twin, 
um, any kind of amp that Fender ever made, Marshall ever made, fantastic clean. And it's not going to break up till almost full power. This one's a 50 water, and it's a spectacular amp for the clean channel. Jazz guys, fusion guys, R&B, uh, even some classic rock. You want a good clean track to mix in with a heavy track. The Lucky 13 is perfect for that. Reverb on both channels, on the overdrive as well as the clean channel. Now, the clean channel's non-master. So it's, that's really going to help out with the clean headroom. And then, of course, uh, the red amp you see back to my left over here is, in fact, the flagship of the Soldano line, and that's the SLO 100. Uh, to me, it's the finest amp that's ever been made. It's the tone in my head. Uh, I've got three SLOs, and uh, it does everything. Everybody from Howard Lease and, and Hart to uh, to Gary Moore, to Warren Haynes, to Martini, to George Lynch, to a lot of modern day players uh, have run the SLO. And that's got a good clean crunch and overdrive. The glory of that amp is the overdrive channel. Uh, the harmonics, the touch sensitivity, uh, the dynamics that it has. But it's gonna take a really good player. Uh, and like most of these amps here, it's gonna really accent good playing, but it's gonna punish poor playing, so it's going to make a better player out of you. And it's also going to make a better track when we're in here recording. Um, that's the diamond line. Now, I've also uh, made some changes on a couple of amp lines. I'm no longer a Splone amplification dealer. I'm now a proud dealer for Dave Friedman out in Los Angeles. I visited with Dave for a couple hours uh, several months ago, and quite frankly, his BE100, which is his 100-watt flagship Marshall it's setting the standard today for guys that want that early Marshall super lead trim, that super lead with or without a tremolo type tone, but they're scared to take out their four input amps. This amp is fantastic. It's got some other switchology on there with some little changes you can make, some little gain additives if you need it. Real simple uh, to dial in a tone on. Typical Marshall. Works really, really well for that. And then I've also got the small box in here, which is a 50 watt. So uh, it's going to give you everything you need, but not quite as much output. Uh, you're going to get a little bit more of a spongy feel, a little more vintage feel with 50 watts. And you push it a little harder without being so loud. So we really like what's going on with Friedman. And the cabinet I've got in here, it's his own rendition. Now, he doesn't do an X pattern when he mixes speakers. He does a top and bottom. And he's got... In his cabinets, um, he's running vintage 30s and uh, greenbacks. And it's a great sounding rig. I really like what I'm hearing. Right now, Jerry Cantrell is running his uh, signature amp. And if you see it, it's, it's actually it's, it's two J's wrapped in a circle. The name of his farm is Circle J. Okay, It's not the JJ amp, it's Circle J. And uh, he's in the Midwest. Doesn't matter where he is, but he's in the Midwest uh, running a farm. And when he's not uh, playing or back home in Seattle as well, and this amp is fantastic. I saw them uh, hanging out with them back in June when they played in Nashville and even running through a DI for cabinet simulation in the Ryman Auditorium. The Friedman was fantastic. So that's more of a uh, classic feel, Marshall. Now if we move on over to the diamond side of the house, the cool thing about diamonds is they're extremely well made out of Houston. And the Phantom is for those guys that really want a JCM 800, but on steroids. It's got a touch of a Mesa feel, like your, Mace, your Mark IV, your Mark II. Um, certainly not a dual, single, or triple rectifier. Absolutely not. Uh, this has got a serious mid-range. Uh, it's got really good saturation, but not over the top. So the Phantom is perfect for guys that were, might be a single guitar band. Uh, if you're looking for really clean... Uh, JCM 800, but hotter than a standard JCM 800, like the vintage one that I have from 81. So that's a great amp to start out with. Then we've got uh, the Spitfire in here. Spitfire 2 is also, like all diamond amps, a two-and-a-half channel amp. And 2A and 2B are, are split on the EQ, but it's a fantastic amp. It's going to have a little more gain now. It's going to be a more aggressive Marshall-type feel. But that's a really good amp. I would like to consider it the flagship amp at uh, Diamond Amplification. I have one of the, uh, the I have the only custom shop uh, Spitfire II available, and uh, I've also got a Heretic in here, 
which is going to be a little bit more of a saliva, Lamb of God, uh, Dragon Force type feel, a little bit more saturation, a little bit more gain, a little bit more guttural feel. A uh, good friend of ours here, Chris Baldo, great musician, uh, helped found a saliva. Um, I set him up with a heretic. He said this is definitely his amp. And it's also got a depth option on the back, so you can really add some more bottom in. So if you're looking for that heavier feel, we can go that way. And now for the guys that really want a lot of gain, tremendous amount of gain, a Slipknot, Metallica, um, stuff like that, a lot of gain, the Nitrox is by itself. I did an amp show a number of years ago, and that amp put out 126.7 decibels. Uh, at five on the master, it, it it peels paint. It is a serious high gain amp, but it's got a great clean channel as well. Same clean channel as the Phantom has. So now, what kind of cabinets go with diamonds? The best thing to run are eight ohm vintage thirties, just like what Mesa Boogie does. Eight ohm speakers and a vintage thirty, and they sound fantastic with that. And finally, what we're going to talk about in here is the diesel amplification out of Germany over here to my right. And the ones that I provide in the studio are the three-channel Herbert. Some say 160, some say 180. I haven't tested it. We're going to call it 160 watts. And it's KT77s. That's what either Peter likes in Germany. Uh, Staffer or Diesel, they like the KT77. It's a really cool amp. It's got some serious switchability on the back with three different type loops, okay? Um... It's got a tremendous amount of options for a lot of clean, obviously with 160 watts uh, output section. It's got great crunch section for the second channel, which is really good for blues. And then, of course, that third channel really gets rocking. Allison Chains, some of the harder um, Bon Jovi stuff. In fact, Sambora used to play uh, a Herbert. It's my favorite amp from the diesel line. So we've got that in there. And finally, what a lot of guys, a lot of buddy of mine, a good friend of mine, great customer of mine, Steve King, says, uh, one of my redneck brothers from Tennessee, he told me, he said, you know, this, is, this amp is the king of the hill. And if that's what you're looking for, an all-purpose, do-everything amp, from weddings to funerals, if you will, this is your amp. Four channels, and it's got individual EQs, and you can assign assignable loops. It's got everything in the sun for you, especially if you guys – are serious pedal boards, but you want different effects for different channels. It's, it's all right there. It's real simple. And it's got gain for days. So that's the glory of what we do here at Blue City Music and American Recording Studio. We've got everything under the sun from 1964 vintage amps to 2015 uh, Friedman's, uh, Diesel's, Diamond's, Soldano's, uh, modern day amps, everything in between. And I still have some stuff at home in a private collection, some other vintage pieces, uh, if guys were interested, and I can bring those out as well. So if you have any questions uh, on what you've got for your next project, how you want to get, what kind of amp tones you're looking for, listen to the video, give us a call, and we'll get you dialed in, and we'll come up here and make sure that you're dialed in for the guitar you're running and get you the best uh, tone you get for your project. Um, so... Thank you for stopping by today. That's Blues City Music, www.bluescitymusic.com. And you can catch us everywhere else. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. I've got a Reverb.com channel. I've got a YouTube channel. got a Google Plus channel. All that uh, social media stuff. You guys know where it is. You know where to find us. Uh, but the old-fashioned telephone works great. Hit me up. We'll tell you exactly what you need. Thanks for stopping by. And we, uh, we appreciate it. Have a great day.